सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित आई एम थैंकफुल फॉर द सब्सक्रिप्शन यू आर मेकिंग टू दिस चैनल द लाइक्स डिसलाइक्स इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू विल गेट आवर वीडियोज वेरी सून सो टूडे इन द third unit of theriogenology we are discussing about andrology and uh, in the third lecture we are uh, i will explain the functional anatomy and physiology of the male domestic animals the basic structures and the scrotum friends i am professor g n purohit the dean post graduate studies and the university head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics College of Veterinary and Animal Science, Rajasthan University of Be Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Bikaner, Rajasthan, India. And the today's topics of the talk are the male reproductive organs, the testes and the other structures, the testicular descent, and the scrotum. Friends, the male reproductive tract develops from the Wolffian duct and body or the mesonephric. tubules during the fetal life the male reproductive organs consist of two testes which are present in the scrotum the ducts that carry the sperm from the testes the accessory sex glands which contribute to their fluid secretions and the copulatory organ the penis and the prepuce the testes are two in number the left and the right testes and the function of the testes is producing the male gamete or the spermatozoa another important function of the testes is producing the male sex hormones the androgens the now we talk about the scrotum the scrotum is a bilobed sac or pouch derived from the skin and fascia and the and is the external part of the male reproductive system which encloses the testes you can see these are the testes and this is the uh, pouch of skin which holds the testes outside the body then there are structures which help in fluid portion of the semen and transport of the semen from testes to the vagina of female the ducts that transport the sperms from the testes include the epididymis the ductus deferens and the urethra and the accessory sex glands include the prostate seminal vesicles and the bulbo urethral glands the copulatory organ is the penis which is enclosed in the prepuce now we talk something about the testicular descent uh, during the fetal life the testes are located in the abdominal cavity they pass through the abdominal inguinal canal and inside the scrotum the enlargement of the gibbon maculum and its disappearance play an important role in the testicular descent the intraabdominal pressure in the fetus also determines the testes descent then androgens from the fetal testes favor the descent of the testes so you can see here the testes were abdominal and then they descend uh, into the scrotal sac this is the time of testicular descent in stallions now to 11 months of gestation the descent is completed cattle 3 and a half to 4 months of gestation sheep and goat 2 and a half to 3 months of gestation swine 3 months of gestation dogs 5 days after birth the failure of testes to descend into the scrotum is known as cryptorchidism and the retained testes is called cryptorchid testes now we Uh, talk something in detail about the scrotum the as i said earlier scrotum is a pouch of skin and fascia that holds the testes in which the testes are enclosed outside the animal's body the scrotum is located between the thighs in most domestic animals except in the boar and tomcat in the boar and tomcat they are located caudal to the thighs you can see here they are caudal to the thighs in the and this is a tomcat and this is a boar caudal and ventral to the ischiatic arch 
The scrotum is externally composed of skin which is relatively devoid of hair except in ram and buck and tomcat. These three species have hair on the scrotum, rest none of the species they have the hair. Then the structure of the scrotum beneath the scrotal skin is the dartos muscle which consists of fibroelastic tissue and unstripped cremaster muscle. The dartos muscle divide the scrotum into two halves. It is closely attached with the tunica vaginalis and scrotal ligament which is a remnant of the gubernaculum. In this picture you can see this is the testicle, the internal uh, spermatic fascia, the cremastic muscle, the external spermatic fascia, this is the dartos muscle and this is the skin. The scrotal ligament, the testes and epididymis are fixed in scrotum by means of scrotal ligament which is attached near the tail of the epididymis and the mesorchium. The scrotal ligament is absent in bulls. The scrotum has the following eight layers externally. The epidermis, outermost layer, the dermis, then the dartos muscle, connective tissue, parietal layer of the vaginal process, cavity of the vaginal process, visceral layer of the vaginal process, and then finally tunica albuginea. The tunica albuginea penetrate the testicular parenchyma to join at mediastinum in the seminiferous tubules. These fibrous septa divide the testicular parenchyma into lobules. The lobules are having the highly coiled seminiferous tubules. About 75% of the testicular mass is composed of seminiferous tubules. Then the blood supply to the scrotum, external pudendal artery and also internal pudendal artery in the boar and cat. Then uh, the nerve supply to the scrotum, genital nerve which is a branch of genitofemoral nerve arising from the second to the fourth lumbar nerve and the perineal nerve. The smooth muscle of the scrotum is supplied with spermatic plexus from the pelvic plexus. The, what are the functions of the scrotum? The scrotum encloses the male gonad. It provides suspensory attachment of the testes with the remaining animal body. It protects the testes from adverse stress conditions. It serves as a thermic chest of male gon. It maintains the gonadal temperature through thermoregulatory mechanism for optimum spermatogenesis. The scrotum, cremaster muscle and pampiniform plexus maintain the testicular temperature. You see, uh, the testicular temperature is important. Uh, uh, the sperms must, uh, the temperature for preservation of the sperms must be maintained. So this is a picture showing the external view of the scrotum, the scrotal septa, then the deep tissues, plexus of the testicular veins, ductus mm -hmm. deferens, spermatic cord, testicular artery and lymphatic vessels. The scrotum becomes flaccid and elongated due to relaxation of the dartos and cremaster muscle under the hot climate in order to create more surface area for heat loss. It becomes contracted and wrinkled during cold climate bringing the testicles closer to the body and reducing the surface area. So let us recapitulate what we have learned in today's lecture. The male reproductive organ comprise of the testes that produce the sperm and androgens, the ducts which carry the sperm, epididymis, ductus deferens and the urethra, the accessory sex glands, prostrate seminal vesicles and bulbourethral glands and the copulatory organ, the penis. The testes descend into the scrotal sac at different times after birth in domestic animals. The scrotum is a pouch of skin outside the body in which the testes are located. The scrotum is located between the thighs in most domestic animals except the boar and tomcat in which they are located caudal to the thighs. The scrotum is devoid of hair except in the ram, buck and tomcat. The testes are fixed in the scrotum by scrotal ligament which is absent in the bull. The scrotum has muscle and becomes loose during summer and contracted during winter to maintain the temp uh, testicular temperature. So, you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn uh, link. This is my YouTube channel link. And uh, kindly listen to the lecture completely. Share the video. Give your comments. And subscribe to my YouTube channel Govind Narayan Porohit.
if you like them thank you we will be coming up with other uh, de describing the other structures of the male reproductive tract in our next lectures thank you thank you have a nice day